In the last 50 years of oil cleanup, there's not really been any changes. First time we've ever tried this. This is the first time anybody's ever tried this. I like it. Um, it's silver built. So now you had to do this so you have them both reversed, right? Yep. Gotcha. So they both go in the same direction. Good job. I like it. Now this machine here can pick up, you said 182 gallons a minute? I think that's what we worked it out to, yeah. Like 10,000 gallons an hour, a little over 10,000 gallons an hour. Yeah. And this is yeah. half size, or is it smaller than half size? Oh, this is smaller. This is like probably a little under one-third scale. So when we're talking the real deal, we're talking yeah. mammoth proportions. I mean, this is going to be great for the harbors, for any kind of the... the any platform out there needs one of these. It's better over skimmers because skimmers have to extract water and oil from a small area and uh, they don't work well in inclement weather. But this system can run in inclement weather. It actually works quite well over a large surface area and it can be used on uh, standard like fishing boats and stuff like that. So it seems that it's a very smart, efficient and economic, I guess, answer to picking up an oil spill. And we prove that we can do it in the open water, we prove that we can pick up the oil, we prove that we can pick up sludge. We've done the tests in the salt water, the different temperatures, the different oil, you know, from palm as far as sludge or dirty or clean or used or whatever the case may be. I think it's important that we keep the ocean and for ourselves and also for our grandkids in the future. And seeing this foam and the way it absorbs oil is absolutely amazing. The minute I saw it work, uh, I realized right away that this is the way to go. This is the way oil cleanup systems are going to be in the future.